Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for January 19th, 2023. Well, yesterday I had mentioned in the Morning Prep video that we had a dangerous market condition of potential big price moves one way or another based on the data. And unfortunately, that big price move came in to the bearish side. Well, unfortunately, if you're long, and particularly if you had been um, rushing in long, uh, kind of here at the end of this, this move, you got a pretty big reminder of the danger of chasing an overextended market. But what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out exactly what happened yesterday. Well, first off, uh, I want to continue to mention that the Dow, um, holding above this downtrend, still has that bullish tendency um, in the chart. So we want to be paying attention to that, that, that yesterday was a one-day move. And remember, one day does not make a trend. However, it did raise considerable uncertainty, and it did be, leave behind a shorter-term price pattern that may be just a little bit concerning. First off, if we take a look at that downtrend, if, as long as we can hold that support level in here, hold that downtrend break, we may be okay. But unfortunately, what I'm talking about is that lower high that just got created yesterday here in the Dow. So we have that little bit of a question mark that came into play. And I suggested yesterday that if those bears were engaged, we would look for a test of support down in here. And unfortunately, we ended up not only testing it, but we ended up breaking it off um, yesterday, pushing on down. And I suggested if they push on further from there, then we would look for a support level down in here. And I warned of the danger of that because of the big potential price move that that could create. So the question for the day is, if one day does not make a trend, um, certainly we had a little follow through to a little bit of bearishness um, the day before. But if we can find bulls or reason for the bulls to defend this support level in here, all may not be lost just yet. If we can hold this price support and bounce back up, then we have an opportunity. However, here's what we've also created, and, and I know this is not what a lot of folks want to hear, and that would be if we were to, since we've broken that support level and we've created a lower high, the only way we can fix this problem now is we need to see those bulls re-engage get us back above that support break, prove that they can hold it as support, and then we have to worry about that little downtrend attack in the chart to see whether we can push back up through there. If And that would be if the bulls engage. So first step for the bulls, if they can push back through that resistance level in the chart that we just created, that'll be step one. If they can push on through even higher, then maybe a test up in here will be possible. But remember, no matter how high they extend up without a support level being put into play, then we could rally strongly right back up here and completely reverse. So keep in mind, we need a little bit of proof of support in that chart. Now, if the bears engage, and you can see they're a little bit engaged this morning, looking for a bit of a gap down, um, we have a good level of price support here in the Dow. And we can kind of comp combine that price support with this downtrend break in here. So we have a pretty decent level in here. It's going to take some pretty substantially bearish um, data, I think, to maybe push those bears um, to engage hard enough to break that down. But it is possible, and so we'll want to be paying attention to that, um, watching this support level for a potential bounce or a potential break on the day. Now, if we look at our technicals here in the chart, obviously we created a little bit of concern here as well with that lower high. 
we not only did that but we failed our 50 day moving average notice our 500 day moving average is in there and if you look really closely we've got a 34 and 20 and our 8 exponential moving average all tied up in a nice little tight area here so we have um, that technical situation here in the chart having broken that down that we're going to have to break back through if the bulls engage um, it also adds that potential pressure of that moving average squeeze if those bears find reasons to engage to push us on down here toward that 200 day moving average in the chart so watch that close now if we take a look at our spy unfortunately our spy is not as um, cherry of a situation as we saw in the dow because we still remain in a bearish downtrend and unfortunately all we've done here at this point is created a new lower high and we rejected that lower high and we rejected price resistance in the chart and we did it in an ugly way putting in a well a little bit of a shooting star and a big bearish engulfing candle which um, ends up completing a pretty bearish three-day pattern called um, a uh, evening star pattern in the chart now the good news here in the um, um, the spy is that we ended up very very close to that price support um, and if we can get some reversal in this um, data this morning uh, remember this is what we're looking at right now a gap down but that could change real quickly with the data that comes out here prior to the open so watch that carefully if we could engage those bulls and push right back up then we could recover that support pretty quickly we need proof that we can hold but and we also want to keep in mind even if we recover that then we still have this complication um, here in the spy of getting back through that downtrend so we we just add a little bit of risk here on that and raising that question mark um, are those bulls really committed or have the bears been kind of hiding in the woods waiting for an opportunity to attack now if those bears were to be able to follow through here with um, the data today i would look for some price support right down in here so all is not lost here we have a pretty decent price support in that chart if we push down in there and bounce off of that but once again we still have that downtrend overall bear trend in the market that we're going to have to deal with if they were to push through that then things get really serious i think if we were to drop down here that would be our next level of price support and that would be a pretty serious circumstance so if those bulls engage remember we need to see them recover that broken support and then see if they have enough energy to attack uh, to attack that overall downtrend um, bear trend that we still have going here in the spy if we take a look at our qqq very similar situation here in the qqq um, unfortunately we continue to hold that bear trend we rejected at a price resistance level here in the chart that i mentioned yesterday that was a fairly substantial resistance we did it again in kind of an ugly way with a bearish engulfing candle um, so if those bears were to continue to find inspiration this morning and push on down well we've got some support levels down in here maybe we just find a little support we get this little gap uh, right here and a little gap right here maybe we could find some support right in that area notice we get this little high point right here that maybe that would catch us for a little bit of price support if it doesn't then we would look for a retest uh, maybe down in here which would be a big point move and a very punishing move here for the market. Same thing is true here as on the SPY that we didn't break this so badly yesterday that if we find reason in the data points today to engage those bulls to bounce, we could bounce right back up. And if we do bounce right back up, remember, we still have all of this resistance to get through and the downtrend the bear trend in that chart to get through so we're good we've got some work to try and push back up here the bulls have got a lot to prove here the bears maybe not quite so much and again on those technicals here in the chart this um uh, this morning would be a failure of the 50-day moving average if those bears continue to push on through and by the way i forgot to mention the spy 
our SPY, we failed at the 200-day moving average and this morning breaking down below the 50-day moving average. So that could be a little bit of additional complication for us here in the charts if those bulls don't engage or re-engage here pretty quickly. And then if we take a look at our IWM, IWM is a little bit different circumstance here. We, um, we will note that IWM broke out of that downtrend if we draw it this way or if we draw it this way kind of broke out of that downtrend and i kept saying uh, the breakout is great now we have to prove we can hold it as support and unfortunately what we ended up doing yesterday is we ended up rejecting this big resistance level that i marked um, in the chart saying that we're going to have to get through there um, and we rejected it um, at least at the moment. So keeping in mind here in the chart, if the bears were to continue to push uh, to the downside, we've got a little support right in here that can still hold us up in IWM. And IWM has held up really strongly here recently. So watch that closely if we can hold that support. If they're able to push on through to the bearish side down in here, we've got a level right in here we could look at. We've got a level right in here that we could look at for the IWM. If those bulls can re-engage, well, let's keep in mind that if they come back up, but the only thing we can do is retest this big resistance level here in the chart. So um, if they were to break through there, then we're in good shape maybe. Um, but watch that carefully and closely. And here on our technicals in this chart, well, we're doing better. As you can see, um, our 50 day is trying to push up toward that 200 day. Remember a 50 crossing up through the 200 day, they call the golden cross. That would be bullish. Um, however, if we were to break back down below that level, that would be um, a bit of a problem if we can't get those bulls to defend this area and the bears push on through, then that becomes a further complication here in the chart. So IWM, I gotta say right now, um, is holding up as the strongest index right now, technically, in the chart. If we take a look at our VIX, VIX found a little bit of fear yesterday, but not enough fear to change anything, uh, at least in my opinion. If you take a look, we still maintain this uh, downtrend here in the VIX. Yes, we caught some support across here in the chart, and that's a pretty big level of price support. And we were overextended in the short term. So probably shouldn't be a major surprise that we got a pullback. What is shocking is how big a pullback we got. And that's what I kept mentioning is, is the danger of this market is the big potential moves. And for the retail trader, how it could whipsaw us pretty hard and, and be rather punishing to our accounts. So be careful and don't over trade. So looking at this, as you can see, if the bulls were to uh, step in to defend, then we'll just continue finishing out this little wedging pattern maybe, or push on down, retest that support again. If those bears follow through, I don't think we run into any major problem here on the VIX, unless we break through this uh, downtrend and that resistance up here in the chart. If we were to do that and hold, then all bets are off. I think the bears may have um, recaptured some control. So watch that. We've got some work for them to do that though. Um, if we take a look at our T2122, you know, T2122 guys, um, it just works. That's all there is to it. You can ignore it. You can pretend it doesn't happen. You can pretend that um, now that can't be the case because I want the market to continue to go up. But T2122, tends to do its job over and over and over. And we were overextended and I continue to suggest that we are overextended. Be careful, don't over trade, um, uh, don't chase to the long side. Um, I, I warned of the big potential price moves that could um, uh, potentially occur. And unfortunately, um, although we pulled back substantially, notice that we have still got a big open door here to the downside if those bears uh, continue to engage. So keep in mind, there is a lot of pain to the downside that could still occur if we find reason for that in the data today. 
Um, if the bulls find reason to find uh, to support um, these um, levels, then we have opened a nice upside opportunity as well. But keep in mind, we still have those resistance levels above us to be paying attention to. So watch those areas. That's what we've got going here on T2122. Our T2108, as I mentioned yesterday, also was reaching some rarefied air here. Um, we had pushed up past um, all these um, high point resistance and it's kind of a rare thing that we can get past that and sustain it and um, that pullback in here just pulls us back to some of these levels in the chart so no particular damage here but it just shows us how how dangerous the market is because of the big potential moves and the overextension that we had created in the market now so far we haven't shaken out a whole lot in here this is just a nice little pullback albeit a big point pullback a nice little pullback that could still find some support in here so nothing's broken here in t2108 the bulls still dominate that um, indicator and if we take a look at our t2107 the same is true here on t2107 the bulls continue to dominate this um, indicator suggesting that although that pullback occurred and it was painful nothing really changed here still have 50 almost 52 percent of our stocks holding above our 200 day moving average and we have some price support here in there but we did do as i suggested yesterday when we start tapping into some of these um, long-term resistance areas in the chart then we've got a big stretch that's occurred and that can create some major damage um, in a pullback so watch that close or T2101, well, we kind of snapped that um, upside move here just a little bit on that uh, momentum, just hooked it over, but not enough to really suggest that things are bad. Um, notice that we, again, rejecting some of these really high areas here in the chart. So perhaps what these are showing us is maybe the market just needs a little consolidation, a little rest. It may not have to whipsaw all the way down or whipsaw all the way up, maybe we just rest for a little while and absorb some of this data, um, absorb this upside move um, that we've made here in the market and see if that holds. That's also a possibility. If we take a look at our um, economic calendar for today, well, our economic calendar has, um, well, quite a bit that could move us around here this morning. First off, we're gonna get those housing starts and permits. And remember, housing has been a little bit of a problem for us here lately. We've been seeing those housing starts and permits declining, and um, the consensus is suggesting that they will decline today. So watch that carefully. If we beat that, obviously that could um, provide some bullish inspiration. If if it comes in weaker than the consensus, that could provide some bearish inspiration. Um, one other thing that we really need to see start coming up is for the for the FOMC, not for the people, but for the FOMC, we need to see jobless claims coming up, and we just haven't seen yet, that yet. And consensus is looking for a little bit of an increase, but not enough maybe to really come off as a bullish change here for the Fed. Um, so watch that closely. That's going to be another important one. And I think the most important of the day is going to be this Philly Fed. Philly Fed, um, we've seen our manufacturing numbers be terrible. Uh, terrible, 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 like our retail sales, two months in a row of declines during the holidays. So our economy is slowing and slowing rather dramatically. Um, if that Philly Fed number comes in better than consensus, we might, and by the way, consensus this is suggesting a little tiny increase, um, still a negative number, but a tiny increase. If um, it comes in better than that, well, maybe we have some bullish edge. If it comes in worse than that, maybe we uh, give those bears an edge. And then keeping in mind the rest of the day, we've got some Fed speakers, we've got petroleum status and natural gas reports, we've got several bond auctions, again, those Fed speakers and a Fed balance sheet. And then as we roll into Friday, we're gonna get a little bit of relief on both earnings and economic reports. We're gonna have existing home sales um, as our big number for tomorrow, and, and that's gonna kinda 
uh, wrap up the week. So let's take a look at our earnings calendar. And our earnings calendar is busy enough, guys. I can't go through all of the reports this morning. Um, I don't want to run the video too long. So um, if you would click the link just below the title of the video, there's a link that'll take you back to the morning blog. That morning blog, you can um, catch the full list of notables here for the day. But a few key ones that I want to bring out um, we've got um, American Airlines that will be reporting today. Keep in mind that these airlines have been on a tear to the upside. Really strong moves. So watch that close how this reacts. If this just pulls back and holds support, that's a very bullish chart setting itself up. We're going to hear from Fastenal. Uh, one of the things that has been very interesting to me is that we've been seeing our building, um, Toll Brothers, Pulte Homes, just racing to the upside in a slowing um, real estate market. So kind of an interesting situation. And Fastenal is one of the companies that um, supplies all of the fasteners to build those houses and homes. And as you can see, getting a little bit of a bearish move here this morning. So if they're showing declines in sales and issues going on there with their earnings, that really wouldn't be supportive of the whole um, housing industry out there. Know a little bit about that. I built homes for uh, better than 20 years. Um, let's take Okay, hey, look, um, uh, we've got some um, um, uh, bigger banks. We've got Key Bank reporting today. It looks like they're looking a little bit lower. We've got a bunch of regionals here in the bank um, banking sector today. We're going to hear from Procter & Gamble. Looks like that's um, looking a little bit lower on its report here this morning. And last but not least, we're going to get one of our first pseudo tech reports. Um, Netflix will be after the bell today. So keep an eye on Netflix right after the bell today. Um, that could be um, one of those first texts and maybe give us a little bit of clue into the big tech reports next week. So watch that closely. Let's take a look. And by the way, not just next week, over the next several weeks, we'll be hearing from uh, about some of those tech reports. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys if you could do me that quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button also click that bell icon and if you find the video to be useful or helpful do me that favor click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment i do truly appreciate it and thank you so much and thank you to everyone who shares these videos out on your social media feed um, that helps an awful lot also in growing the channel and i just want to I, I, I'm just so humbled when you do that. Thank you so much. You guys are truly the best. Um, let's take a look at a few stocks and let's keep in mind, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any securities. As a matter of fact, you're going to have to do your own due diligence. You're going to have to be very, very careful in these trades. And just remember that with the big potential price moves that we have seen in the market, and I expect them to continue, it can be a very dangerous place for retail traders to be. So first off, let's take a look at OKTA. OKTA has been one of those charts I've been watching and it's been resting in this choppy consolidation mode here in in that chart. I still think this is worth keeping an eye on. If I draw a trend right up through here, you can see that choppiness may be just moving us out toward this trend. Keep an eye on that for that opportunity that this may move on through to the upside. Worth putting on a list and keeping an eye on. Take a look at a stock like UAA, Under Armour. Holy moly, what a move that has made here in Under Armour. So pushing up big here in that chart, breaking through this resistance level as you can see and that possibility that this may yet fill this gap yesterday's um, little bit of uh, topping pattern a little bit of selling coming in today might pull us back to another entry point in the chart so watch for that resting pullback that little consolidating move that could occur in here and then that opportunity to follow that trend to the upside watch for that carefully you might also want to be taking uh, keeping your eyes on gold and silver, copper, um, steel. These stocks have been incredibly strong 
pushing to the upside. We'll want to watch those pretty carefully as um, uh, this stretch in gold and silver continues to look very, very bullish. Um, any resting pullback in here that holds some support levels, I think sets up an opportunity for more upside on precious metals so watch those closely another stock that you might want to be keeping an eye on is tsm you go know, tsm uh, taiwan semiconductor is building a huge plant in um, arizona and you can see what we've gotten done here in tsm breaking through that downtrend here in the chart and holding up above some support levels and breaking through so any you notice that we're testing some resistance right in here so any resting pullback in here consolidation that follows this trend i think would set up another opportunity and play, please keep in mind it could pop on through there and then still come back and test those support and trend levels in the chart so keep an eye on tsm looking pretty good and some of those other semis have been coming up here as well you'll also notice if i change this to a longer term chart my goodness that is one beautiful inverted head and shoulders pattern that is formed here and this is the neckline of that pattern so if we break through that neckline of that pattern hold that area as support well then you've got some upside potential and you can see that's a pretty big move between um the that neckline break and that next major resistance level in the chart so keep an eye on tsm so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great results in your trading thank you so much for being here um i uh, hope you have a a, a, a very productive and profitable day and we'll see you right back here bright and early friday morning take care everyone